Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Johanna if you haven't been here before. This is a short little video explaining the Ujjayi breath, how this breathing actually works, what the benefits are and the technique. So Ujjayi breath is also referred to as ocean breathing because as we inhale and exhale, it resembles the sound of the waves of the ocean drifting in and out. If you have ever uh, taken a yoga class, you probably have heard a lot of people in the room making this kind of loud breathing. And they're not just doing this for fun. It is a very, very beneficial breathing technique that goes hand in hand with the poses. As a matter of fact, without the breath, we're not really practicing yoga. The breath is so closely linked to the energetic flow that it is super, super important for us to really refresh revitalize and open up all the channels in our body. As a matter of fact, if you're starting out with yoga, I would advise you to start with only practicing the breath before you start the poses. This will also help you to get the full benefits out of the practice and it will also help you on a mental level to feel more focused, calm and concentrated throughout the class. This is really the benefit of practicing Ujjayi breathing, that it creates this laser focus. So whenever you feel that your mind is, you know, all over the place, it is very beneficial to practice this. This is also why Ujjayi breath is so important for our Vata balancing program, because a Vata mind with a lot of air and ether space it will be very fluctuating. There's a lot of movement happening on a mental level. So we're trying to bring this focus to help calm down Vata. So how do we practice Ujjayi breath? We are simply creating a contraction at the throat. We're making this passage more narrow. And we all know how to do it because we're actually doing the same action whenever we whisper. Another way we can practice Ujjayi breathing is by doing this sighing uh, kind of exhalation. So I want us to begin with practicing that together. Let's just settle in for a moment. Feel that you're relaxing into a nice seated position. You can also sit on a chair. Just be upright, nice and long spine. Feel that you're rooting into your sit bones that you feel grounded into the space. Now let's take a few deeper breaths where we begin with drawing the breath into the lower part of the lungs. You might place your right hand on the belly just to create a physical connection to the breath. And you wanna feel now that you're breathing down to your hands. Feel your hand rising and falling together with the breath. Breathe a little bit deeper, a little bit slower. Connect to the flow of your breath, the rhythm of your breathing. And see if you can begin to breathe up to a count of three, maybe four seconds, maybe longer if you're comfortable with that. And notice how we use the full capacity of our lungs. Now let's take a deep in breath together and exhale out through the mouth. Now we begin to contract the throat. Inhale through the nose. Exhale and sigh. Notice the sensation in the throat as you sigh. Take another deep breath in. 
and sigh out. Good, gently reopen your eyes. Now, you might have noticed when you create that sighing sound that there is something vibrating at the throat. We can feel that there is some action happening, some narrowing constriction happening. And this is the technique of the ujjayi breath. So we're trying to establish a more smooth, steady breath and this will also help to bring the mind into a more focused mindful conscious space what happens energetically in the body is that the energy can flow in a more harmonious way and we begin this process of cleansing opening refreshing the energy we're also creating some heat from within which is beneficial for vata, for the air and ether element. So I want you to create that same kind of sigh out now, but with your mouth closed. Try to establish it on the out breath. Let's settle in once more. Close your eyes, relaxing. And now inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale through the nose. and try to do the same action at the throat. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Just like you're sighing out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe slowly. Open your eyes. Notice how that feels as we slow down the breath. You might already notice a more calming effect happening on a mental level and also in your physical body. So usually the out breath tends to be a little bit easier at first. So I want you to begin with practicing this on your mat. And with time, as you master how this technique works, you can also establish it on the in-breath. So then you will inhale, exhale, and throughout the practice with the in-breath and with the out-breath, we are applying that gentle contraction and we create this nice control and focus, this red thread throughout our class. All right, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Keep practicing and you will learn how to master Ujjayi breath.